us a little bit about your character first. Uh, well, I play Elena Michaels, who um, sort of the, the plot of the books is based around. And um, she's a young girl who grew up in Toronto, was in the foster care system, and went from foster home to foster home and had a fairly rough uh, childhood. Um, I never really knew family, and she actually ended up falling in love with her professor, uh, played by Grayson Holt. His character's name is Clay. And um, lo and behold, he's a werewolf. <laughs> and uh, he ends up biting her um, and, and transforming her into the first ever female werewolf to survive the bite. Huh? Um, so she's a little upset about that, um, but obviously very torn because her instinct is to stay with the pack. Um, but she feels betrayed and she's never really had a family before and the pack is really her first sense of what a family means. Um, so she uh, goes through uh, the, the mixed emotions about that, decides that she wants to have a normal existence, goes back to Toronto and falls in love with a human. And thus the story starts that she is torn between the two men and the two worlds. And it's really great. The, the synopsis is fantastic. It's based in Toronto. We get to shoot here in my hometown. Um, and she's probably my favorite character yet to date to play. She's so layered and um, yeah, it's fantastic. And what would you say is, what's her relationship with Clay, uh, I guess, as things begin? Because obviously there's still some connection there. Uh, to begin, how's her relationship with Clay? Yeah, I'm assuming it's pretty rough. It's rocky. Yeah. Um, she's obviously in love with him still, but doesn't know how to handle the betrayal and the secrets that he kept and the fact that he took her, what she knew, away from her. She's no longer human and doesn't have the normal existence. Um, but she's drawn to him. There's definitely uh, a deep love and uh, that's what she's fighting against is to forget him and to move forward and to fall in love and, and you know have a real life in Toronto and she can't do that and that's the struggle. Right. So now this is the last episode you guys are filming. Mm -hmm. I understand it's been pretty, uh, it's been, obviously this is a very demanding role in terms of physicality. Yeah, uh, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> I'm just doing a bunch of stunts. So. How has it been? Because you've obviously done some stunts in the past, but this seems maybe a little more demanding. Uh, definitely. Yeah. I, I mean, on Smallville, I did a lot of that stuff uh, and wire work. This is the first time on a show where it's more hand-to-hand -hand combat and the right. martial arts experience comes in handy. And um, it's rough. It's gory. It's uh, very masculine. Um, it's animalistic. So it can be a little more uh, exhausting than a normal fight scene because we are jumping off walls and snapping necks. <laughs> the usual day-to-day -day thing that we do here on Bitten. <laughs> well, what's it like being one of the only females on the show? Or are you the only female on the uh, show? There are other females on the show for sure. Uh, in Philip's awesome. life in Toronto, his sisters and his mother. Right. Um, and then Janelle Williams, uh, who's on our show as well. Right. But in terms of the pack and being, you know, here on set every day and every scene, it's just usually me and the guys. Um, and that it has its challenges, but it's also a lot of fun. I mean, I'm one of the guys now. We all joke around and with the fight scenes and hanging out. It's it's wonderful. I love them all. Um, and I've always been a tomboy, so it's sort of nice. I, I get competitive and it challenges me as the only female to sort of prove that I can do what they do. <laughs> but what's more challenging, the action or the, the role? I mean, obviously they both have different challenges, but mm -hmm. do you find one more challenging than the other? The action or the or the role itself. itself. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, Elena is so, like I said, layered uh, that every day I'm finding myself challenged with scenes. Uh, they're very dramatic and very emotional, and she's always torn. And there's turmoil. There's, you know, deaths in the show. So mm -hmm. there's always something that she's really struggling with. So it's nice to be challenged in this way. Um, the action is just a whole nother beast. It's, you know, very specific, getting it down to a science and, and working with these amazing stunt people. So I wouldn't say one's more challenging than the other. They're very, very different um, forms of what we do here. Right. In terms of, uh, I find it interesting in terms of the show that Toronto has become this kind of genre capital all of a sudden. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Hey, that must be a big boon for being able to actually do a show in the city. Yeah, I haven't done a show here since uh, I met you on Instant Star. Um, and uh, it's nice to be home with my family. I've been away for a while in Vancouver with Smallville and V and um, in LA. So I've had a chance to spend a lot of time with them and I'm proud to represent Toronto. And I love that this is a Canadian show and, and um, a great Canadian crew and actors. Does the, sh does the city feel different to you, uh, kind of coming back? It does. It, I feel like I'm experiencing, experiencing it again for the first time. Um, growing up here, I didn't really come downtown. I would just be in my neighborhood and I uh, never really, when I started driving, I was in Vancouver. Right. So it's definitely a new perspective when I, when I moved back to Toronto and, and not living at home with my parents anymore. You know, I was living on my own in LA, but now that I'm home, it feels odd to not be with them. Right. So it's, yeah, it's different. Cool. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.